Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble hip-hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock with the best. You heard? What up, y'all? Hope you guys are having a fabulous day today, tonight, and all that good shit. So I'm going to be answering, you know, your questions. See if you guys have any questions, comments. Maybe you guys want to ask me something about marketing your business, but I will be doing a live forum on this platform today. So if you have any questions, feel free, drop it in the comment section below and holla at your bizzle. You know, um, we're going to talk a little bit about duplicating yourself, man. In the 21st century, duplicating yourself. Do you guys remember, have you ever said something like, man, if I can just make two or three more of me's, I'd be rich already. I'd be wealthy, right? If I could just make a couple more like me, I can, I can take over the world. The fact is, in this day and age, you can do that. You can literally do that. You can duplicate yourself and replicate yourself in many different ways. And I'm gonna share a couple of those ways with you. Now, one of the things you guys have to keep in mind is that marketing, um, the marketing, advertising, all of that stuff is created to, for you to attract clients, right? The sales part comes after the marketing part. That's where you are ciphering out the, the, the shitty people and then you're keeping the cream of the crop. But if anything isn't on fleek, as the young kids would say, you're going to have a very, very hard time. You're going to be banging on people's door, making them a lot of cold calls. You're going to be seeking a lot of clients that don't know you exist or even care that you do exist. And it's going to be a very, very hard sale. So what I'm going to share with you guys today is a couple of tips on how you can duplicate yourself so your selling isn't as hard and it becomes more of a warm lead and not a cold lead anymore. One of the things that you have to do is you have to seek outlets where you can offer your products and services even if you're not around even if you're not around and i'll give you an example of that what's up daryl shout out to you uh andre what's up brother uh shout outs to kush epsi vernon all you guys thank you for tuning in so one of the things that you have to look at is like okay as you guys see on, on my war room board here this is my war room right now, I am attacking Google ads, Google AdWords. And now they changed it as Google ads now. The reason why I'm attacking Google ads is because Google gives me the opportunity to achieve one of my biggest goals, which is called omnipresent, right? Omnipresent is basically being in multiple places at the same time being in multiple places at the same time. Now, you ask yourself, if I can create one video that sells one specific product and I can be on a thousand channels, you have just multiplied yourself. And not only did you multiply yourself, you've multiplied a sales or elevator pitch to convince people to wanna to buy your products or services. That is huge because 20 years ago, they couldn't do that. 20 years ago, a salesman was a salesman. You know, you, you're in a, a location and you're trying to sell your product. Now you can be reaching thousands and thousands and thousands of people in one sitting, in one sitting. So you have to ask yourself, what are the channels 
that I can use to multiply myself, right? For instance, if you are an avid Facebook user, right? You can use the video marketing strategy to reach, I don't know, you know, depending on the type of influence that you have on your audience, you can reach anywhere from 100, 300, 1,000, 5,000 people with one video. That right there is omnipresence. That allows you to reach multiple people in one shake, right? And then put a couple of advertising, some Google, uh, Facebook ad dollars behind it and reach 10 times as more people. That makes sense? So you, YouTube is another one. Does YouTube allow you to reach a multitude of people in one city? It's no longer, you don't have to scramble. Like, I'm gonna share this with you guys. That hustle shit, that man, I'm hustling it. That shit is becoming obsolete. People that are hustling and hustling over for all these dollars and shit like that, that is becoming obsolete because it's here. It's how can I become more effective in a very short period of time? How can I become more effective? How can I reach a vast, large of audience in a very short period of time? So it's like the hustler is the person that's going to hit the streets, shake it up, be this mover and shaker, talking to a bunch of people, this and that, and hopefully, hopefully get a lead that can lead to some dollars. That was great. Fucking five, 10 years ago. That was great. Years ago. Now. There's a whole different strategy. And I, I, I just, just want to share this with you because you may not realize that you are living the greatest time in history. The greatest time in history. You can now convince a CEO in another country that you have never been to before to want to buy your products and services with a simple video. You can't do that with all the fucking hustling and all my Brooklyn hustlers, Chicago hustlers. You can't do that on your own merit. You become local. You are now local. You want to become international? Begin making videos, but make videos with a certain objective. Your objective should be, I am going to talk about this product. I am going to pump up this product. I am going to use different type of strategies and techniques to promote this product. And I am going to use this one video to reach as many people as possible. You have to ask yourself, if I only get one chance, like I only get to make one video and then that video alone, what will it consist of? What would your video consist of? What would you really talk about? You don't have another chance to make another video. This is the only chance I get to reach this new customer and convince them to buy my products or services. If you only have one chance, what would you say in it? What would you say in that video? And I guarantee you, you will begin to hone in and narrow your focus so you can hit them right between the eyes. So ask yourself again, what are the channels I can use to reach a big audience? You have YouTube, you have Facebook, you have Google AdWords if you're advancing the marketing side of it. Google AdWords is it's off the chain. Um, you may have Instagram to reach a lot of people. You may use Twitter to reach a lot of people with just 140 characters of a tweet. 
You understand what I'm saying? Be more conscious of your efforts. Don't just be on social media fucking posting up pictures about your, your last meal. Don't just be on social media spying and shit. Use social media to bring in money. That's what it's created for. Mark Zuckerberg is a young dude, right? But he hires old ass ad executives and shit that used to be on Wall Street fucking uh, creating ads for Merrill Lynch and Charles Schwab and shit. Those are the people that are behind the scenes that you don't see. They're retired ad executives, new ad executives right now working on how to generate money for Facebook. Facebook ain't some, some willy nilly shit. You literally have your own media platform. Use it accordingly. Salute, peace.